the volume of a right rectangular prism uses this formula and we can plug in these three numbers so 6 times 2 times 3 is 36 since we know the volume is 473 cubic centimeters we can plug that in in this equation we'll multiply both sides by 48 then we can divide by 7 pi and if we take the cube root of that we get about 10 so the answer is D. If water is pouring into the glass at a constant rate, it's going to fill up the bottom faster because it's not as wide. And then as it gets toward the top, it's going to take longer to fill up because the glass gets wider. So C shows that where it starts off faster and then slows down. Density is equal to mass over volume. They expect you to know that. So here density is equal to 18.5 divided by 2.5. If you divide that, you get 7.4. On the SAT formula sheet, you see the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to pick two different uh, radiuses here, 1 and 2. And if I take 1 cubed times 4 thirds times pi, I get 4 thirds pi. 2 cubed is 8, so that's 32 over 3 times pi. You'll notice that the difference here is that we multiply by 8, which makes sense because the radius here is cubed, and we doubled the radius, so 2 cubed is 8. Also from the formula page, we get the right circular cylinder formula, which is pi r squared times the height. So cylinder A has a volume of 22 cubic centimeters. So we could plug in some test numbers if we wanted to, but since the radius is squared, doubling it means that we are multiplying by 4, because that's 2 squared. And then if we multiply by a half, because the height is halved, we are, we, instead of times 4, we have times 2. So 22 times 2 is 44. From the formula sheet, a right circular cone has this formula, and they tell us the volume and the height. We can plug in 2 and 24 pi there. If we divide both sides by pi, we have 24 is equal to 1 third times r squared times 2. If we multiply both sides by 3, we have 72 is equal to r squared times 2. If we divide both sides by 2, 36 is equal to r squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we found a radius.